find the general solution of the equation sine 4x uh, times sine 2x is equal to cos 3x times cos x. Okay, now when you have this uh, an equation, a trig equation like this, you can expect to have multiple solutions. So let's see how we can do go about it. So yeah, uh, I'm going to use the double angle formula on the left hand side. So I can see sine 4x or sine 2x. Okay, so I hope you know the double angle formula for. So let me write the formula with a different color. So sine 2x, double angle formula for sine or double angle formula for sine is sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. So this is the double angle formula. So I'm going to use that on sine 2x. Okay, so what can I do? So this will become 2 uh, okay, so let me write first sine 4x. So sine 4x times sine 2x can be written as 2 sine x cos x. 2 sine x cos x is equal to cos 3x times cos x. Okay, so this is the first step. And the next step you see if you look at cos 2x and cos 2x uh, we I want you to think whether you can cancel this cos 2x from both sides by dividing both sides by cos 2x so it's very tempting when you see this in a product form and you've got cos 2x on this side and cos 2x on this side you have the temptation of canceling but you should know one very important and a simple uh, rule in maths where you are not allowed to divide by zero. So when you're dividing both sides by any number or any expression, you should make sure that expression is not zero. Or in other words, when you're dividing by zero, it's not allowed in uh, maths. So you should not be canceling because you're doing what you're not supposed to do. So I'm going to take away or this side to this side. Okay, so what will happen now? The next step will be 2 sine 4x, 2 sine 4x times sine x cos x, taking away cos 3x cos x from both sides, minus cos 3x times cos x is equal to zero. That should be your first step. So now you can factorize or factor out cos x from both these expressions. So if you factorize, if you factor out cos x, uh, if you factor out cos x, you can write this is 2 sine 4x, 2 sine 4x minus cos 3x, no, you got a sine x there, 2 cos sine, sine 4x sine x from this expression minus cos 3x is equal to 0. Okay, now you can set both of them equal to 0. So the next step is, so I can say, well, cos x is a zero that's the first possibility or 2 sine 4x times sine x minus cos 3x is equal to zero okay so let us take one equation at a time so yeah uh, i hope you understand that cos 90 is zero so you cos x is equal to or you can use your calculator. Uh, okay, this is my calculator. So you can go to menu, uh, run, so cost, so cost shift, cost zero. Uh, this is in radians. So I'll change this into degrees first because I like to work in degrees. So degrees. So if you press shift cost, of zero 
is 90 or if you know the cos graph cos starts at uh, 0 1 and hits 0 at 90 so here if you want to do one step this 0 uh, if you want to write this as cos this is cos 90 okay now using the general formula now, now the general formula of cos is like this so let me write the general formula so it is like this if our general solution if cos theta is equal to cos alpha the formula is like this or the, the general form is like this then theta is equal to in terms of uh, degrees uh, this is 2 360 n plus or minus alpha okay so this is a formula so using that formula uh, that's why I wrote 0 as cos 90 so comparing this with this I can write x is equal to 360 n where n is an integer plus or minus your alpha can be compared with 90 and here you can write n belongs to i i is an integer I'll explain that later on hopefully you know that okay the next step I'm going to add cos 2x sorry cos 3x on both sides so I can say sine 2 sine 4x times sine of x is equal to cos 3x okay now there's a formula called sum so I'll I copied and pasted this formula so I want you to look at this formula so let me bring it down so this the next step is a bit tricky step here if you look at this formula you can see 2 sine 4x sine x now if you look at the, this sums formula from this side from this side to this side you're looking from left to right so this can be compared if you look if you compare this with 2 sine 4x x okay this suppose if you want to write this as if you want to change this negative to positive so using a logic can you understand that cos d minus cos c is equal to a um, multiplied negative one to both both sides becomes 2 sine sorry yes 2 sine c plus d divided by 2 times sine c minus d divided by 2 hopefully this step is not that complicated for top math students I multiplied minus 1 to both sides to compare this with this so you can compare your c plus d over 2 with 4x and c minus d over 2 with x so let us write that therefore comparing uh, therefore we, I can say therefore using sums formula or using sums I'll write only in short in short sums I can say c plus d divided by 2 is equal to what c plus d divided by 2 can be compared with 4x and c minus d divided by 2 can be compared with x so multiplying 2 to both sides i can say c plus d is equal to 4x sorry 8x and uh, multiplying 2 to both sides i can say c minus d is equal to x so now this is simultaneous equation so this and this gets cancelled to c is equal to uh, what have we done 2c is equal to uh, yes uh, c plus d oh yes this is 2x sorry okay I was confused here what's happening here so multiply 2 to both sides so this is 2c is equal to 10 which implies c is equal to or 10x so c is equal to 5x so directly you can say if c plus d is 8 8x and c is 5x d is nothing but 3x 
So your C is 5x and your D is uh, 3x. So using this formula, I can say from here, I'll write it here. So can I say this left hand side using this formula, it is cos D minus cos C. Your D is 3x and your C is 5x. So I can write uh, cos your D is 3x minus cos Cx. C which is 5x is equal to cos 3x. Okay. So now you can, I'm going to take this Okay, you can take away cos 3x from both sides. There's nothing wrong in taking away. Only problem is dividing. If you take away cos 3x from both sides, or you can understand this cos 3x and cos 3x can be cancelled because you're taking away cos 3x from both sides. If you take away cos 3x from this side, you can take away cos 3x from this side. So this and this gets cancelled. So we, are, we have got minus cos 5x is equal to 0. Therefore, I can say cos 5x is equal to cos 90, the same formula. So, I can say 5x using the general formula, it is 360n plus or minus uh, 90. And dividing both sides by 5, so 360 divided by 5 is 72n plus or minus 18, excuse me, 90 divided by 5 is 18. So these are the three solutions. So let us write, so there are three, uh, four solutions in fact. So you can say x, so x is equal to 360n plus or minus 90, uh, or x is equal to 72n, 72n plus or minus 18. So let us check this for the to confirm whether this solution is right. We're using the calculator. Let us write all the answers. So the answer I already worked the answers out. The x between 0 to 360 is 18. Uh, I'll show this on the calculator it, and also graphically is 18, 54. 90, 126, 162, uh, 168, 198, then you got 234, uh, 270, 306, and 342. So these are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 solutions between 0 to 360. So let us uh, let us check that. So first let us use this in the table menu and confirm this and then I'll show you how to confirm this graphically. In two ways we're going to check this. So if you go to your graph, you know, if you, my calculator is not working. So, uh, oops, uh, hold on. So, Uh, so let us uh, uh, do this graphically. Okay, so let me bring back my calculator. So if you go to table and uh, you type in uh, the three equations that we got was, I'll type in 360 x plus 90 and 360 x minus 90. Okay, and then the other uh, was 72x, 72x plus 18, and 72x, 72x minus 18. Okay, and then I'll set from say minus 6 to plus 6. Okay, so 
So this is these are the values that we don't want. So these are too big. We want only from zero to. So if you look at this, you got ninety, but and you get only ninety from this. But if you go to the next, you got two seventy year, and uh, okay, you get only two seventy year. So let me delete this, these two equations, and also delete this. Yes, okay, and table. So if you go, this is 18 degree, okay, 0, 90, 162, 234, 306, and this is too much, okay. So here for the last value 72 minus 6, you get 342. Okay, so if you go to 70, 198, and so on. Okay, now to, if you go back to your graph menu, let us graph this equation, so let us delete this too. And I will, you can confirm my answer. So let us write this equation like this. Sine bracket 4x, sine 2x okay and minus cos bracket 3x times cos bracket x you have 10 solutions between 0 to 360 so let me confirm I want a trick scale so before that I have to change this into uh, degrees I want degrees from 0 to 360 and shift V window, I want a trig scale from 0 to 360. And scale of 90 would do. So this is your graph. And you go G solve and root. Your first is 18. The next is 54, 90, 126, 162, 198, 234, 270, 306 and 342. So these are uh, five solutions or 10 solutions that I wrote here. So from 18 to 342. So we have checked that all the answers are right.